You are about to board the Sioux Sylvester Express. Destination, horror. Disaster ladies, I'm going to ask you to smell your armpits. Game parents encourage rebellion. There's studies on this. Oscar Wilde, Liberace, homosexuals so flaming they can be seen from space. Why, nowadays, sneaky gays are everywhere. At the church, at the mall, picking up their meticulously dressed, fastidious children from daycare. Why, you could be sitting next to a sneaky gay right now and you never even know it. And that just don't sit right with one, Sue Sylvester. And I got nothing against gays, just ask my sassy intern, Tyler. He has to live in my tool shed because I deny him health care as I consider gayness a pre-existing condition. But what Sue Sylvester doesn't like? Looking around and never knowing if a sneaky gay is in her midst. We should be able to see a gay coming a mile away. Is it wrong for me to long for the simpler days of yesteryear when performers weren't so confusing? Jagger, Bowie, you knew they were women. But nowadays, this internationally ranked cheerleading coach just can't figure it out. Neil Patrick Harris? You confuse me. I hear you're gay, but there you are on my TV playing a normal, womanizing, cardigan-wearing straight. That's confusing. And then I heard a rumor you're not actually a doctor. So much sneaky, gay deception. Adam Lambert. You're on the right track, but still too subtle. Now, don't get me wrong, I'll listen to your music. I'll even hum it under my breath as I head into the voting booth the next time a state government offers me the chance to die your base. Right. Oh, Sue Sutter does that spot until you swish it up a bit. Black nail polish? Swish it up a bit. I want to see enormous future rhinestone studded gay claws so cumbersome you can't even perform the most basic acts of personal hygiene. Eyeliner? Swish it up a bit. I want pencil thin drawn on eyebrows, Botox, and lips so full of collagen that you look like a real housewife of whatever region you happen to be living in. So swish it up, gays, because if I can't tell who's gay, how will I know who to judge? I'm sure you understand. Oh, you have so much margarine in your hair. They said, you want to be me. <laughs> so here's the deal. You do with your depressing little group of kids what I did with my wealthy elderly mother. 
euthanize it. <laughs> Boring me now. I'm gonna go do something else. Sneaky gaze. <laughs>